Character voice lines, character grunts, which way will it go? I believe it's only going to go one way or the other. Not both, let me tell you why. Now after a severe backlash when character voices were confirmed for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, TT Games then revealed that they would look into the mumbling option. And a lot of people have interpreted this as, oh we're going to get a mumbling option as well as a voice line option. And let me just talk very quickly about what this is all about, why this matters. The original LEGO Star Wars games, whether it be the video game, the original trilogy, the complete saga, the Clone Wars game, all just had character grunts, nobody really spoke. And that was what kind of brought in a lot of magic, especially for people like me, and it's nice to see now years have passed, a lot of us who played those games when we were younger are now older, and the appreciation is still there, it's nice to see a person like myself isn't on their own. And then when the Force Awakens game came out for LEGO Star Wars back in 2016, characters had voices and a lot of people just found it out of place, including me. And that is one of the main things I didn't like about LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. When it comes to that game, some people assume I just didn't like it because I'm not too into the sequels and that was never the case because I put aside the actual movies and the plots when it comes to the LEGO games because I think the levels are done extraordinarily well. People are so passionate about just having grunts in these LEGO games. It is kind of weird and if this was associated with let's say Star Wars Battlefront or some of the biggest Star Wars games to date like The Old Republic, The Force Unleashed and they just included character mumbling, players would laugh out loud. But when it comes to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, people thought after that amazing reveal trailer that mumbling was set in stone, there was no dialogue in the trailer, it was just mumbling, and then it was later confirmed on Twitter that characters would have voices. After the backlash, TT Games said they'd look into the mumbling. Now there's been reports here and there that actors have been recording lines for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and if we break it down it has to be one or the other. Now while a lot of people have just presumed, oh they'll give us an option for grunting and then an option for voice lines, whichever one you want, is it that simple? Because if you actually think about it here, let's say you've got the voice line option on and then all of a sudden you're thinking, okay I'm going to go with grunts for a bit. Well if they use the exact same cutscenes then your character's mouths are going to be moving, there's clearly going to be long cutscenes where dialogue is needed I suppose to carry it and there'll be nothing but grunts coming from it. Now the chances of them designing two different separate sets of cutscenes are very low. And I unfortunately believe they will go down the route of voice lines. I do think they'll incorporate mumbling as much as they can into the scenes, but it will all kind of be in one. Lucasfilm are going to want the voices in there. They seem pretty oblivious to what the fans want half the time, and they're definitely not going to understand the fact that their fans want mumbling ahead of character voices. They're probably going to find it very stupid, and in their defense, if you didn't play the old LEGO Star Wars games, you probably would find that very stupid as well, that we don't want talking. Something so crucial to Star Wars we don't want in games. Or in this game in particular, the others, like I said, I don't think would survive in this situation. But what are the chances of them designing two separate lots of cutscenes? Very, very low, in my opinion. It has to be. I don't think there's going to be an option to switch the between both. That is just something players have presumed. If they do go down the route of just runts, let's just say in that scenario, then what happens to all the voice work already recorded? You don't know which huge actors have returned. Say Daisy Ridley, Adam Driver have come back to do Rey and Kylo Ren. And then they just say, well, we're not going to use these lines. That's my point here, because there is a chance they could get big actors like that. Alright, when it comes to the prequels, the chances of them getting Ewan McGregor, Samuel Jackson, very low, but when it comes to the sequels, those actors are very involved with Star Wars right now. So they're not going to put those voice lines to waste. What happens to them if they just go down the route of grunts? And that is my overall point here. I just don't see it being both together with that option in between. It would be too much extra work when they've already confirmed they're designing this game from the ground up. But let me know your opinions on this everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I pray, I pray, I pray we get grunts only. But only time will tell. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all next time.